What's up, guys? It's your boys, and we'll back out with another ghost, creepy, all around scary paranormal content. And I'm super excited because it's King Frostmare. He's definitely got some great content. And this one is the scariest videos you cannot watch alone. Well, right now, we are watching this alone with you and I on Scare with So grab a chair, grab some popcorn, as we hopefully will not soil our pants and watch this alone. Let's take a look. If you guys are new to my channel, if you guys are returning and have not subscribed yet, make sure you guys subscribe down below by hitting that red bar icon down at the bottom right. Turn on the notification bell by hitting the bell icon next to it. So when I do post videos like this one, you'll get that little ring notification that I've posted a video. And then you guys can watch, comment, like, and share. And again, I say this on every video. I'm going to continue saying it on every video. Thank you guys so much for the support. You guys are killing it with the subs, the likes, the comments, the shares, the... The, the, the everything we are almost at 6,000 subscribers and I can't thank you guys enough and keep telling your friends and your family or even you guys by or anybody anybody you guys know about channels wokey and I surely again appreciate you guys so very much but we're here for one reason and that is to get scared on Zawoki or scared with Zawoki and on King Frostmare's uh, newest video I was gonna post this a couple days ago early um, but with having COVID, I definitely was feeling under the, the, the weather. I'm feeling a little bit better, but we're not quite there yet. But I want to do an, another scary video with, for you guys. And King Frostmare is up to bat. So with that being said, make sure you guys go over to his channel and give him some love about subscribing, uh, enjoying his content. Definitely helps out his channel as well for putting this together for us. And let's get in the video and see what he has for us to get scared with. Time for scary videos today with an eerie shadow encounter in an abandoned. <coughs> I feel like I've seen this before. At the home of a young man. Now let's buckle up and stay frosty. I swear, everybody wants to text me when I'm making a video. Now we want to take a look at another mysterious recording shared by the channel Fourth Wall. It is said that I like fourth wall. camera, which is mounted on a pole to overlook an old cemetery in Japan, has captured something quite unique this night. The cemetery is notorious. I don't like these kind of cemeteries. And reports a security guard noticed that something seemed to be moving on this recording. Oh, we're in the middle. Of course, the footage is not the best, but some say this could be a silhouette. Is that so? Silhouette of what? There's nobody there. The staff oh. also shared another clip from a nightly visitor that got spooked off the premises after going for a nightly walk. I usually don't go for nightly walks in a cemetery. Whoa! Was that in front of him? Yeah, it's right there. And then it's on the opposite side. Yep. He believes to have captured a spirit here. Oh hell no. Be strange to say the least. It's something there. I don't know. It's around the corner, and you got nothing else to do but they revisit. Now we will take a look at an update from Abiyud Alvarez that, if you remember, seemed to be living with the spirit of a female in his apartment. Yes, I remember she this one. For quite some time already, and over the past year, some bone chilling events were recorded. Got some now, however, good we captures. Now, a recent recording, which was captured by the camera in his bedroom at night. He says that a lot of weird things have been heard and seen in there as well, which is why he keeps his camera on overnight. Let's see. What? Oh, it's a cat. Oh, it's a dog. Dog knows what's up. Something had activated his Alexa system. Alexa was given a question. That's what it was. Something he didn't know the answer to. How weird. And Abiyut's dog clearly seems to be sensing something as well. It looks as if he's tracking something on the ceiling at times. Dog's like, will you get up? Stop. 
There's something hidden here, man. It keeps looking up. A few days after this incident, Abiyud is sharing another really strange encounter. Oh, there's that bear again. Why does it look like his mirror is wet? He's showing us his mirror, which for whatever reason had water droplets. Oh, okay. Who the hell was that? After he pans the camera towards the left, the unthinkable happens. <sighs> he believes that a being from another dimension was walking towards him, a doppelganger who gained access through the mirror. Oh, it was something. Bro! How's that possible? The person looks just like him. How strange, isn't it? It moves fast. He stated that it was scared to death that evening. Whatever powers were at play here, Something's definitely wrong. <sighs> What's even stranger is a photo that he found. My heart literally skipped. He chose a woman sitting in front of an old mirror, which is scratched out for whatever reason. Is this the same woman whose spirit is now haunting this place? He had never seen her before, apparently. And maybe this photo is an indicator that something otherworldly might have accessed through that mirror. Who can say? Hi. Literally, when we saw that picture, I was like... Now we're taking a look at a really terrifying capture shared by Angelo Montoya. He was on a ghost hunt that night and realized that something sinister must have been captured. He states, This is a photo I took while doing a ghost hunt at Asylum 49 Tuel Yuda. They used to operate as a hospital before it got shut down. The owners assured me that this wasn't a prop of any sort. I took this picture in the summer of 2016 and they cleared everything out for investigations. Whether you believe it or not is up to you. The entire place was pitch black by the way. That's really creepy. Oh. Hello? It looks like a creepy person in a rope and something is wrong with their face. Something's wrong with their whole body. Pitch black holes. If this wasn't a setup by somebody or a prank by an employee, could this be a spirit from the afterlife? Looks like it's got a belt on its waist. Or was it just waist? a prop after all? How creepy though. That's not no prop. No, thank you. The next video we are taking a look at was uploaded by user Kutrapali. A user from Mexico who recently has started to share really strange paranormal oh. encounters that seem to unravel in his home. Apparently, he wakes up to loud noises in the midst of night and states that he even saw shadows every now and then. Besides items being moved in his house, he had quite the number of creepy events taking place. Oh. Tonight, he woke up to some really loud banging noises, he states. He started to stream the following live on his profile. Please don't jump out. On Kitty. Ooh. It might have been like a. It looked like a blanket over something. I don't know. He believes that this shadow entity is dwelling in his home and he has no clue how it made it into his house. Uh, he's looking into ways to get rid of it. Ghostbusters? And we will keep an eye open for further updates. I mean, it Maybe does look like a out. blanket or something, but I, it still looks like a sh figure too. Ugh. If the dogs can see it and kids can see it, it's bad. Following is another unsettling recording, which has been captured and shared by user Leon. 
he uploaded the following footage to the paranormal section of Reddit. He and two of his friends were out that night to check out a supposedly haunted and abandoned building and what their camera captured can only be described as quite intriguing. He states, we were investigating the administration building of a Norwich CT State Hospital. We didn't find much that night, but believed to have caught the voice of a ghost girl oh. and a weird white figure. Been having trouble sleeping since this happened. Pretty clear. That's not my phone. You heard that, right? Believe it or not, but that voice you hear was unaccounted for. The girl was not part of the group, so it is believed that they might have captured a ghost girl. Other people say that this could also be a case of stone tape theory. This theory claims that a person's energy in their moments of death can be imprinted on certain stones and can be replayed under the right conditions. But they also captured this. I don't know. You heard that. Dude, All of that. The figure. Dude, I swear to God it wasn't me. And it's like they don't all shut up. It's like, if he says shush, shush. A really odd white object is leaning towards the left side of the door. But it's too hard to say what exactly it's it was. It's like peeking. If it was related to the voice, maybe it was the spirit of a former patient. Who can say for sure? We don't. Spirit Hotel. The next video was shared by the team of Clip Store. They were documenting a series of videos which they recorded in an abandoned Japanese hotel. Based on several stories, there were some paranormal encounters taking place in there. Tonight they were granted access to the second floor, on which there's one particular Buddhist altar room that has frightened many guests in the past. It is said that a ghost appears to guests, either oh, on gosh. the hallway or even in the room itself. One of their team members will stay the night in this room, whilst the rest of the team is surveilling the camera from another floor. Oh. The young man that's staying in the room is giving a quick update about him feeling a bit uneasy, but nevertheless he falls asleep within the next hour. Several hours later, the man wakes up though. The hell's he doing? Oh! <coughs> oh. person in white seems to be walking on the outside hallway, which based on the team's info is impossible since nobody else was there besides the two men. And then the lights go out. Who were checking the camera. We were also speculating why their friend was staring at the ceiling for some reason. Strange. If this is not staged, could it be that a spirit was causing this odd behavior? Very eerie for sure. <sighs> Japanese ghosts are on a whole nother level, man. Every time I say it, they're on a whole nother level. This clip was recorded and shared by Danny Tumia. We have taken a look at some of his previous recordings before, which all have been relatively creepy. Tonight, he started a video to talk about his favorite Halloween movies. Well, he hears a knock towards the left in the hallway. Even his dog seems to have noticed. Then he captures this creepy thing has all my favorite Halloween movies on right now. And this is one of my favorite movies. 
Whoa, what is that? Whoa? What is that? The dog's inside! Daryl? Get the dog! Daryl? Many people are unsure what had happened here exactly. Oh, you see it right there! Oh. Bro! Some say it's a negative entity. Others say it's just cheap effects. But whatever it was in the end... Gave it's a cheap of effect! Some really bad nightmares. Who can blame them? And it's funny, he was getting ready to watch Lights Out. If that was cheap effects, uh, bravo, bravo. Now another extremely creepy capture is <coughs> by Law of His Love to the Paranormal Reddit section. His post reads as follows. My uncle has a trail cam at my old grandparents' house, which are both dead, and the house is abandoned. The camera takes three pictures every time a motion is detected. This thing only appears in one out of the three photos. No idea. Not saying it's a ghost, because I don't really believe in them. Love also states that six minutes before this picture, his uncle was on the property to fix a couple of things. He then left and this thing popped out out of nowhere. The trail camera takes pictures so fast it looks like stop motion. And apparently this thing walked up and was just gone a second after. How creepy is that? Looks like it's underwater. Say that this could be a spirit of a long forgotten time. Maybe wearing shackles of some sort. Could this be so? Bone chilling stuff in my opinion. Whatever got captured. Uh. Looks like it's scully looking, like a tear eating. Now we want to take a look at the videos of Diego Spikers. He also seems to be living in a spooky haunted apartment. On his profile, one finds quite a number of weird events taking place. He recently uploaded a video about a new gift he had gotten for his little kid. It was a cute pink play tent. He had put it up in this room to showcase and to share with his loved ones. But he noticed that something oh, seemed to be- Oh, I had one of those for my daughter. Say what? A child in a blanket can be seen through the side window. It wasn't there a second ago, and it's gone a brief moment after. Bro, I'm not seeing any cut. From this day on, he was sure that the spirit of a little girl was living with them. Why, you might ask? Well, this is another update he shared. He talks about what he had seen the morning prior, still baffled at this point. What's very interesting, however, is what he captured without even realizing. Oh, gosh. Oh! The face of a child can be seen. A child that is peeking into the room. Impossible, since the apartment is several stories up. So it's outside? I don't know if it looks like a kid, though. So, is it a spirit? What do you think? Uh, just the trick of a light? Oh, that was a little creepy. This is the latest adventure from our investigator, Dark Ghost Paranormal. Ooh, I love Dark today, Ghost Paranormal. Traveled to a place that was recommended by a subscriber. The woman apparently had lost her son, who was very interested in the paranormal. He conducted many ceremonies and occult rituals in this house. Dark tells us that this young man claimed to have created a device which lets him talk to his dead relatives. He wanted to make contact to his deceased grandmother, so he conducted several investigations in their old house and apparently opened a portal to the other side. Oh it boy. Is that evil entities entered into the house by him doing this. Dark was asked to investigate this house and to maybe find answers about the mysterious death of her son. After arriving, Dark installs several cameras and conducts a quick walkthrough in which he goes over the different belongings that were left behind. Oh, oh, looks like a voodoo doll. Looks like a demon voodoo doll. Dark believes that the dolls were used to perform the rituals. 
Don't touch him! And while Dark is getting more equipment out of his car, one of his cameras captured the following. Oh, saw that. Oh. And it's catching on two different cameras at the same time. shadow that is seemingly moving from room to room as no bueno and that's the only thing that's shaking so it's not like it's a okay that's shaking too Aware of the activity, continued the investigation. Later that night, he starts taking photos in the former bedroom of the grandparents. His attention gets directed towards a drawer after hearing some rattling noises. I think we've seen this the weird pictures that are in there. Yeah. These kind of look photoshopped in a way. It appears that the deceased young man had stored really creepy photos in there. Dark mentioned that the man's mother told him that he was a collector of creepy things. So that really, looks beautiful. Really, it didn't mean much really. But after Dark left the room, there was something else that the camera captured. door did he sleep here at the end of the night dark states that he will come back the following day and that he will try to contact the spirit of paul which was the woman's son Let's see what he comes up with in the next investigation, shall we? You need to not go by yourself, my dude. Thank you guys for watching. Huh. So with that being said, definitely it was a very good one. I definitely jumped quite a few times, especially that one where the guy panned the camera after looking at his wet mirror and seeing a possibly doppelganger of himself. That definitely got me skipping my beat in my heart. So, you guys be the judge. Comment down below your guys' thoughts. You guys think they're real fake, fact fiction. I definitely love reading your guys' comments. Like the video, and always, as well, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next one. So, keep it real, keep it safe, and as always, keep nerding on. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.